In this After Effects tutorial, we do the handwriting effect. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and today we get away from the keyboard and we actually pick up a pen and write out our text through a cursive sort of style here. So, so this is very easy to do. So let's go ahead and jump over to a new composition in here. I already have a text layer and I'm using a script uh, typeface. And if you have uh, the Adobe Creative Cloud, you can go right into the Adobe Type Kit and you can find a ton of different uh, script fonts that might be perfect for you. Now you don't have to use a script font. You could use, you know, sans serif or serif or whatever. Uh, but let's go ahead and just use a script font for this. I'm using Shelby. So there's two ways to do this effect. There's the right way and the quick way. Now the quick way basically consists of right clicking your text layer and click on create mask from text. And in this case, you can add the stroke effect from the generate menu and animate each of the masks. But I'm not gonna go ahead and show how to do that because I wanna show you guys how to do it the correct way. So we're gonna grab the pen tool and what we need to do is trace over all of our text. Now that might seem time consuming, but it's really fast and you don't have to be perfect. So we'll come in here and go to our first letter here, which is H. And what we're gonna do is make sure that our first point is off of the text. So I'm not gonna add my first point right here. I'm gonna add it kind of in the negative space down here. And then come over here, add another point, kind of draw out, or drag out the vertices a little bit. And my goal here is just kind of, you know, don't have to be perfect or anything like that. Just kind of be in the ballpark. If you mess up, don't worry about it. Just keep going. And when you're done with your first sort of loop here, so we know that this is gonna be our first, uh, I guess, stroke of pen writing here. And when you're done with it, make sure just to kind of deselect the layer and then reselect it. And then we can put our second mass stroke, you know, maybe for this one. You know, I don't see a big deal doing over here. And then click off it, click the layer back on, and then we go all the way across. And, you know, you'll just have to be a little bit imaginative of how you should go about doing this effect. So maybe I'll come up here and then we'll go back down. So there's really no, you know, set of rules here. You're just going to have to really go with it. And even I can go ahead and just, you know, kind of remask. Uh, kind of some of these areas here, but ideally speaking, we want to kind of find the most consistent, uh, you know, path here to make this work kind of almost like a writing cursive. And as best as we can, like if we can go through this and almost do, you know, one mask for the entire thing, that could be perfect. Uh, but you don't have to do that. Just you know, try to be as close as you can and, you know, we'll be working towards perfection. All right, so I have my first letter in here, and you can always make small adjustments to kind of make sure you really bring down the mask a little bit. We're gonna go, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish out this word, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished masking out this entire word, and then we're gonna go up to Effect Generate Stroke, and we'll come over here and set the end percentage to zero percent, and we're gonna click on Reveal on Original Image here. So now we can kind of see right through this, and we'll add a keyframe for the end over here. Go to forward by a few seconds or whatever, however long you want this animation to be, and set the end to 100%. So now we come through here, we just only have our first mask in here, no big deal. Go ahead and click on all mask, and now it's gonna do our entire word like this, and it's an absolute disaster, but don't worry about it. Let's go into the brush size and just really increase this to maybe 15 or so. And as you see, it's kind of all correctly in there, and now we kind of got that nice handwritten effect in here. So now if you have any doubts that this text is overlapping in any way or not looking 100% perfect, what you can do is duplicate this layer and delete the stroke effect and then set the track mat to alpha mat. And you know, of course that's just optional. If you're not, if you're thinking this is not perfect, just keep that in mind, you can do something like that. But for the most part, you don't need to do that and now you have this effect. So now you should be able to replicate this effect for any sort of textile and you should be good to go. So if you're following along with this video, you should have gotten something very similar uh, to this and you know, that looks pretty good. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you have not done already for more After Effects tutorials. And please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.